Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I have what I think is a pretty cool gun to show you today. Uh, and from what I'm reading, actually maybe one of the coolest guns on the market today. So uh, the BNT APC-9, uh, we'll do a live unboxing, just got it. So the, the case is nothing remarkable. It's a big, heavy, sturdy case, uh, but no BNT identification on there at all. It's just a, you have the stickers on the sides, little details, uh, but no outside identification. Just a nice, hard, sturdy case. Uh, unlock it here. Inside, you get the fully padded. Ah. There you go. So this is the interesting bit, right? We'll put it aside for just a second. See what else is in here. Uh, BNT, I think uh, they started designing this gun back in 2010, 2011, uh, and it gained fame a couple years ago when it was awarded the uh, Army's contract for a subcompact weapon. Uh, so pretty hot gun right now. In the box, you get a uh, small tool there for some. Work. Your sights, the backup sights. Yep, there you go. We'll get those installed later. Um, you'll get some type of single point sling or a bungee sling. All right, uh, owner's manual. Pretty big looking owner's manual. So we'll check that guy out later. As well as uh, attention warning note not to avoid the warranty. Um, this is the 30 plus round Glock mag uh, that you can choose either Glock mags or uh, preparatory uh, BNT mags or I think even SIG mags. I chose this because it lines up with another gun that I have too, so I can switch the mags around. So um, there's that, and that should be a cleaning kit, I believe. Yep, there you go. So that all comes with the gun. And now, probably the gun's what you want to see, right? So let's take a close up look at him. Again, just do a quick unboxing here. So here's a close up of the right side. The top. And then the left side. All right, we'll take a quick look at some of the features. Uh, maybe I'll start from the front. Uh, things I can remember to call out, try like adapter, so. Very cool there. Uh, I am dead set on making this thing SBR, I'll tell you that much. So I'm gonna go with the uh, BNT telescoping uh, stock. So that one I'm set on. I'm open to the optic and the silencer that we're around here. So what do you guys use? What do you like? What do you suggest? So I'd uh, love to hear what you have to say. So um, pick rail here, here, underneath, and full pick rail on the top. So plenty of room there for stuff. The feel on this guy is amazing. I'm not sure how metal can just feel so good, but the hand feel is spectacular. Uh, really good grip here, it looks like. So uh, one of my favorite things is this non-reciprocating uh, charging handle that is truly ambi. So there's one here and one here. And as being a left-hander, hold the gun this way, charge it, just pull this guy out, charge. And there it goes. So uh, for the rest of my family who's right-handed, they hold over here, charge this way. And there you go. So very cool system. Um, again, close up on this side. Everything is truly ambient on this guy. Uh, you've got the uh, mag release here. On the other side, though, it's actually in a slightly different position. Let me flip it around. On this side, it's positioned right here. So being a lefty, can't reach that. Can't do anything over here, so I'm assuming I'm gonna release it like this. So, uh, ambient mag release there and there. Uh, slide release here. And here, both sides. And then uh, safety. Um, fully ambi as well. Here and there you go. So, um, again, I believe the, bottom, the lower is all interchangeable. Uh, the back, again, I'll pull the sky apart later and show you uh, when I get this thing SBR'd and put the uh, telescoping stock on there but anyway just a quick view of a very cool gun i can't wait to go get some rounds into so uh i'm sure this will be a long-term follow-up project as i start adding optics and stocks and silencers and i want to talk a lot more about it but uh just want to give you guys a close-up view of what potentially could be the coolest gun on the planet right now thanks so much for watching